everyone, I am Saiti and welcome back to my channel Saiti Korean. In today's video, I to do the CPU throttling test comparison between the POCO F3 GT versus the iQOO 7 device. Let's see friends, which phone will be having what kind of throttling results in terms of the CPU throttling. And I'll try to use the CPU throttling application into the game turbo in the POCO F3 GT and ultra game in the iQOO 7 device. So by using this kind of game enhancement boosters, let's see how much the CPU throttling can be there and which phone will be having really good CPU throttling graph. That is what I'm going to check in this entire video. So first thing let me to open the game turbo mode in this POCO F3 GT and is the iQOO 7 CPU throttling application so which I did already added into the ultra game mode as you can see you will be able to see this kind of everything game enhancement boosters in the CPU throttling in the game turbo you do have the option to select different different status as you can see default and save power and the balanced and the high quality and custom as you can see a lot of users did ask me to select the custom option as well this time of testing the CPU throttling so let's see so this time I'll try to use the custom settings and if you try to scroll down there's an option which is called the multi uh, threaded rendering as well if you want you can enable that as you can see use, uses multi rendering to optimize the game performance as you can see that's also good another thing so i'll try to use this kind of custom option and i'll try to enable this option as well as you can see friends clearly and let, let me go back to the settings and performance mode and a lot of users did ask me to this kind of enhance uh, try to enable this kind of option which is a performance optimization let's see by using this kind of custom op custom settings and using the performance optimization let's see how good the cpu throttling can be there right now in this kind of testing and as you can see the game turbo has also started and brightness i'll try to keep it around 50 percent brightness in both phones same brightness in both phones as well and now both phones are good to go friends let's see which phone will be having what kind of temperatures and how much kind of throttling can be seen in this both phones let me need to start that test right now so one two three and this is the POCO F3 GT. If you see this white bar in the navigation, that is the POCO F3 GT and this is the iQOO 7 device. Let's check the temperatures right now, how much it is in the POCO F3 GT. POCO F3 GT has got uh, 33 degrees as you can see, 33.2, 33.8, not bad, 34 degrees. And iQOO 7 device is 31.4, 31.6 at this moment as you can see here. So these are the settings which has been recommended by my subscribers. That is the reason I'm trying to use only those settings in this moment. So maybe in the next comparison, I'll try to use a different different settings and I'll try to show you what is happening in the POCO F3 GT. So these are dimension to 1200 versus Snapdragon 870 chipset. So one thing is that in the iQOO 7 device, doesn't matter if you use the ultra game mode or if you don't use ultra game mode, if you do whenever you want the CPU throttling in this iQOO 7 device will always remain the green color only. Yes, in the IQ sound device, in every time, every time, it will try to come down to 80%, but still it will try to remain green color only. So I did not, I did not see even not even once going graph down and ups, ups in this IQ sound device from the time of using this device. And is the 35.4 degrees, 35.6 and 35 degrees, as you can see here, Tem temperatures in both phones, how it's increasing little by little. And the graph you can see on the POCO F3 GT, how it's uh, behaving in the beginning itself. 35.8, 35, 35 degrees and is 34.2 even the iQOO sound started to heat up a lot at this moment and you can see the performance that's wow the performance number 3 lakhs 37,000 and the POCO F3 GT 2 lakhs 77,000 so this exact settings what uh, my subscribers they did you they did ask me to use this kind of settings in this phone that is the reason I, I'm using right now for the testing purpose only Let's see friends how much uh, the CPU will be throttled and how much higher the temperature can actually reach in this phone if you're trying to use the custom options in the game turbo mode. And if this is not working then I need to try different different settings in the POCO F3 GT to see what is happening in this uh, throttling why it's like that the graph that is the reason. And you can see the, on, on the other hand the iQOO 7 graph it's completely stable. You can see the graph how it is in terms of the performance and throttling it's completely stable. So again, I'll be back after maybe close to 5 or 7 minutes or 10 minutes of time. So then we'll be able to discuss what's the temperatures and what's the situation about this both phones. So in case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to check the playlist of uh, POCO F3 GT. That will give you the clear idea whether to buy this phone or not. Try to follow the playlist for more details as well. So again, I'll be back after some time. So before going, let's check the temperatures for 37 degrees and 36.4 degrees as you can see slightly close to each other 37.4 36.4 as you can see from the temperatures right now how it how they are so i'm going to be back after 10 minutes of time 
So right now as you can see friends the time is about close to 13 minutes and 14 minutes and during this time 38.38.2 degrees and sorry 39.2 degrees in the Poco F3 GT 39.4 39.2 as you can see and the IQ7 reached up to 39.4 39.6 39.6 is the highest in the IQ7 device and 39.4 is the highest in the Poco F3 GT so both are in the kind of close to each other in terms of the temperatures wise that's the one thing which I can definitely say there so close to each other in, in the temperatures wise and you can see the graph how it's decreasing in the IQ7 device so this is the same graph from the starting to till now after using 70 days 70 days with this IQ7 device till now same same type of performance in the in terms of the graph same type it will try to decrease gradually that's the one thing friends in the IQ7 device I can predict the IMD benchmark score I can predict the CPU throttling I can predict the 3D benchmark but some other UIs are completely unpredictable sometimes but let's see the final score after some time what will be the total uh, totaling how much the CPU total up to let's see what will be the result right maximum and the minimum and both phones are total up to 89 percentage that's kind of really close as you can see that's fantastic friends as you can see. In, even in the temperatures also they are really close even in both phones both phones in the even in the temperatures they did really close and even the CPU total up to 89 percentage exactly same and maximum performance 3 lakhs 8000 is the maximum performance this time we got as you can see in the Poco F3 GT so this time the graph was really better when compared with the before graph this time the graph is slightly better than as you can see in terms of the average 282 and in the average is 3 lakhs 21000 and the minimum 299 and the minimum is 252 you can see the side by side comparison scores how it is between both phones so both phones are doing really great job in terms of making the really cool uh, graph not going suddenly down and suddenly up it's kind of good so this is a quick comparison friends between both phones in terms of using the CPU throttling test using the game enhancement boosters these are the graph will look like in both phones and if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below and regarding the temperatures the both phones they do have the 39.6 and 39.4 so slightly close so slightly close to each other in terms of the temperatures nothing much difference in terms of the temperatures as well so i'll try to do different different kind of testings as well maybe 3d benchmark test and android benchmark test doing uh, three times continuously sustaining which phone will be having really good uh, performance results i'll try to check this kind of things from now so make sure to follow me regularly to know this kind of uh, behavior in the poco f3 gt and if i miss any other videos uploading so let me know in the comment section below i'll try to upload those videos as soon as possible in my channel and follow my playlist which i have created for the poco f3 gt the playlist will give you the complete idea about what is happening with this device so see you in the next video friends i'll see you for more updates meanwhile bye